Okay, uh, if you ever uh, get to a position where the boat will not go faster than 3,000 RPM uh, and the engine uh, is only going 3,000 RPM uh, and the alarms are going off, beepers going off, tachometer is jumping up and down, is basically your boat telling you there is a problem and the problems are two ways. Um, they could be serious, uh, like no oil, or it could be um, something minor. Um, now, the alarms can go off, but as long as your RPM is not affected, uh, means it's uh, no maintenance, uh, it's not a serious issue, it's not overheating, it's not low on oil. Uh, alarms can go off because you have too much voltage, not enough voltage, things like that. Um, we're going to go over that. Uh, but the newer DF uh, engines are telling me, writing on the book says that they will go to 3,000 RPM for three minutes, then they die. You put it back in neutral, you start it back up to continue if you need to. I do not know how you can uh, have time to do anything. Maybe get out of the channel and anchor uh, is what you could do in three minutes, but you're not going to get home in three minutes. So I don't know how many start it will take to get you home. Um, so let's go over it. Um, if, if you happen to have a tachometer right here, it says tachometer. Uh, you have a check engine right here. You have the uh, temperature right here. You have oil and over limit. And these are indicated by on your tachometer uh, for the chart as a A, B, C, or D. Um, when something bad happens to your engine, like it has no oil uh, or low oil, um, your engine will drop to 3,000 RPM and uh, buzzers go off. Now here it says that if you have an over revolution, uh, caution lamp A, which is this one right here, will kick in. Buzzer, no, and a limiter, limited RPM right here, yes. So if you rev it up too much, you got the engine out of the water and you're revving it up, your limiter will kick in, or if it's barely in the water, barely in contact. Low oil pressure uh, kicks in the limiter. Basically, the one you care about or the one that get you in big trouble when the RPM drops to 3,000 3, RPM. So low oil pressure will kick in the limiter. Overheat will kick in the limiter. And we're going to speed up and go down. Here, map sensor is a yes. Fail safe system activated. Cylinder temperature, yes. IAT, which is intake, uh, air, something, uh, which is IAT, uh, kicks in the limiter. Air intake system kicks in the limiter. Uh, exhaust manifold temperature kicks in the limiter. Throttle position sensor kicks in the limiter. Knock sensor kicks in the limiter. O2 sensor, ah, that's ridiculous. O2 sensor heater, that's another ridiculous. Now, while the limiter kicks in, you also get a code, which is lamp flashing pattern. It's three on, then it's off, then four on. Three, four. It goes beep, 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 then stops. Four, three, three lights, then four lights. That's the code three four. That will be your map sensor. 
I'm going to pause right here. You can pause the video to see uh, the pattern 1 and 4, 2 and 3, and etc. That's all of them. Uh, you can pause and see the code. But um, let me read some of these. By the way, when your old change is due, a buzzer comes on and the old flashes. Uh, first time I saw that, that scared me. <laughs> Very much so. It was one in the morning. Uh, and I thought I was having serious engine problem, but the RPM did not get shut down. It was just a reminder that you need to change your oil. You know, I didn't go to 3000 RPM. When you go to 3000 RPM, it's like engine is overheating, low in oil, something. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, but here's the bad part. It says that... There you go. The engine stops three minutes after the caution system is activated. Okay? Uh, so be aware of that. Uh, they should not do that, but they're doing it. Anyway, I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna, you can pause the video and read this. And you can, that's pretty much, you can self-explanatory. I'm gonna let you read this section. I covered most important part, uh, letting you know that you will be shut down in three minutes. Um, you can just read it. Pause the video as you need to. Also, while we added, if you ever want to know the how many hours your engine has, and that would be a good idea to let you know that you should have changed your spark plugs because now the O2 sensor is kicking in because <laughs> you ignored it. When you turn the ignition on, the RPM will jump, let's say, to 4. That means 400 hours. If you jump to 4 twice, that's uh, 4,000 hours. So that's how you know how many hours you got on the engine if you have a RPM. Here's the codes again. I'm going to just pause the video. There are 16 codes. The most important ones are the one that kicks the limiter, 3000 RPM maximum, and then after three minutes it shuts down. Uh, tell me if you had a scary moment like me, because I actually, when the buzzard went off, so going back to it, you can get a buzzard, you can get the RPM jumping, you can have some oil or uh, rev or temperature light flashing at the same time and uh, these will tell you the codes three flash pause two flash will be the map sensor and if it's a map sensor you don't get the low rpm you just hear the you see the lights flashing and all that uh, meaning it's not a serious issue needs to be taken care of, the engine is not running good, it may cause additional problem that kicks in there uh, down the road after three, four months, it will kick in uh, some other uh, uh, warning. Uh, this is interesting, if two or more self-diagnosing order 
uh, read this part if, uh, if, if you be lucky to have two problems some some things like I have on my last engine uh, didn't have any problem till about 500 hours the engine I have right now has 400 hours I did not have any problem but I do change the spark plug and I do clean up the throttle and things like that I do the maintenance okay so the oil change things like that uh, here you probably don't need all these information by the way these books are available to be bought if you bought your from eBay Amazon and I bought it electronically it's a PDF file I uh, bought it a long time ago for $15 is what I paid I don't know what they're selling it for now probably higher <laughs> but uh, uh, it will help you a lot here's your code okay uh, go boating go fishing and take care of your boat or it will break down on you in the water and uh, these problems don't happen with Suzuki that often, but you need to be aware of it. Good luck, and have a great day.